Well, we are here at the Beaumont Emergency Center, and one of the main things that they see that people come in with is kids with broken bones. And joining me now is Dr. Greaves. Thank you so much for joining us. Good afternoon, Nicole. Thank you for having me with you. You know what? You know, I have a two and a half year old, so that's something that's such a concern for me when I think about broken bones and things like that. Kind of talk to us a little bit about when a kid comes in with a broken bone, what's the next step? When a child arrives in our emergency department, we will quickly bring him or her back to uh, one of our beds. If it's open, we utilize a room that is designed specifically for our pediatric patients. Uh, we will assess their pain and we will assess their vital signs, making certain there's no other significant injury while attending to what seems most obviously their complaint. And we involve the parents in their immediate care. And one thing that you were talking to me about was that, you know, lots of broken bones, but also a lot of wrist injuries. Unfortunately, fall on an outstretched hand is a very common presentation to the emergency department. Um, as we're learning to walk and we're learning to crawl and we're learning to climb, we tend to also learn what gravity is about and we fall. The natural human instinct, if we can get our hands down first, to brace our fall is why we see these injuries. Now, you were telling me a little bit about urban legends as well. Let's get rid of all those urban legends. Let's talk a little bit about that. Urban legends has to do uh, more with uh, the public perception of what is standard medical care um, or what is the standard approach to a medical question. Mm -hmm. um, concerning pediatric orthopedic injuries, they are real. Um, and many times parents will question, do I need to have my child seen? And the answer is yes. The sooner that we see them and that we can personally examine them, and if needed, x-ray an injured uh, joint, the quicker that we can ascertain whether there is a fracture or not and deliver appropriate treatment up front, which means that down the road there is better outcome. Yes, because sometimes, you know, your child falls, you're not exactly sure how bad the injury is, and then several days later you find out the wrist is sprayed or the wrist is broken. So if you have that concern, the most important thing is to get your child to the ER. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. We are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We will gladly see you and take care of you here. Um, we want to help answer all your questions as well as treat you like family. Um, nobody likes being sick or injured, and pain control is one of the best things we can offer. Um, the key question you may have is if your child injures their lower leg, say their knee or their ankle, um, and you want to know, could it be broken or not? Mm -hmm. A quick and easy test is, is if they can bear weight. Okay. If they can bear weight, it's less likely it's broken. However, should you have any question, if you want it to be x-rayed and you want to know definitively what is the problem, we are here to help you. And one last question, you know, lots of people, there's the, the hospital ER, kind of talk to us the difference between the ER at the hospital and Beaumont Emergency Center. Beaumont Emergency Center was designed as a freestanding emergency department. We provide the exact same services any, as any hospital-based emergency department without uh, the wait. Um, we are able to see patients uh, in a quicker manner and still deliver the same type of medical care, while also, we hope, being able to treat you more like family. Um, because we don't have as many interruptions or responsibilities, we are able to see patients quicker, more efficiently, and still deliver the same medical care, possibly at less cost. All right, doctor, thank you so much for joining us again. We're at the Beaumont Emergency Center, and if you have any emergency, you need to come here.